Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we have sort of a self-aware sovereign citizen. And I mean self-aware by the fact that he knows that what he's doing is considered to be illegal. But he's still trying to find a way around the law anyway, which means he thinks he's above the law in that regard. But at any rate, he tries to, well, use many of the sovereign citizen arguments uh, at a traffic stop, and it still doesn't work out for him. And the handcuffs end up coming out to play. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Registration's expired? No, sir. You weren't aware of it? I'm not, um, am I obligated to have a registration, sir? Yes, you smooth brain soft hard. You are required by Texas statutes, which are laws. So don't confuse that, you lack brain moron, for anything else. Because, well, you won't win a court doing it that way. But you are required to have your vehicle registered. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And the Tenth Amendment grants the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And generally, the states themselves cover traffic laws, you douchebag. Uh, we're obligated to have a valid registration while you're operating a motor vehicle. Well, I'm traveling. Insurance, well, well, right now, I'm, I'm actually traveling in my privately owned structure. You see that? Private uh -huh. property. Okay. I'm not actually commercially obligated to have a license. Oh, you're not commercially obligated to have a driver's license? Uh, I need a citation for that, please, because from what I see of the Texas statutes, all you're doing is spewing off nothing but a bunch of, uh, well, bullshit to begin with. Okay, do you have your license and insurance, sir? I'm not, I'm not eligible to have one of those. I'm, I'm not required to by law. Oh, you're not required by law to have one. Uh, can you please provide the statute? Because if you're saying you don't need it by law, then obviously there's going to be uh, something to back it up with, right? Right? So provide a citation. Otherwise, you are just full of shit. Yourself. Are you saying that I'm obligated to have an I'm identification? You're obligated to identify yourself. I am obligated. Absolutely. Okay, my name is Achilles. Your name is what? Achilles, sir. Achilles? Yes, sir. A K I L I. A K I L I. What's your last name, sir? I don't have one of those. Are you are you gonna obligate? Are you gonna um, give me your badge number as well, sir? You don't, you don't have a last name. But you're at, are you am I obligated to have a last name, sir? Yes, sir. Are you, are you really going to do all this in front of your children? Wait a second. You're doing this in front of your children? Oh boy, uh, I hate to say somebody's a bad parent, but uh, yeah, if you're teaching them this bullshit, uh, yeah, uh, I would say that you are a really horrible parent because if they follow your example, uh, these children will be in trouble with the law for the rest of their lives. Sir, I'm just... I'm, I'm exercising rights. Is that is there is that a law? Exercising the right for you to go to jail. That's what right you're exercising. For what What's reason? What's happening is you're gonna have to identify yourself. Okay, what reasonable, articulable suspicion of All a right, crime? Just, just hang Texas, Texas you, versus you Brown. Brown you? versus Texas requires you to have a reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime in order to get yeah, identification. Cool. You... Uh, dumbass. Uh, he does have RAS, and that is the fact that your registration is way out of date. So he can pull you over for that by Texas law. You can you please get your supervisor out here, sir? Do you have insurance? Can you please, am I obligated to have insurance, yes, sir? Are. Well, that's a dumbass question right there. Are you obligated to have insurance while on the public roadways? Uh, dude, I would hate to uh, have an accident involving you because you clearly are not exactly well the most responsible uh, person out there if you are not insured. So please do us all a favor. Why don't you just uh, stop driving, stop using a motor vehicle on the roadways because, well, you're just incompetent to say the least. By what law? Why aren't you? Because I'm not driving commercially. 
I'm traveling. All right, just hang tight, okay? Okay, you're, I got su I got Supreme go, Court roots. Okay? Am I being detained right now? You are not free to go. Absolutely. Am I being for what right for what now. for what reasonable because suspicion though? I'm not op I'm not operating a motor vehicle. Okay. Well, you're not free to go. Hang tight. Can you get your supervisor out here, sir? I want to speak to your a little longer than a few minutes later. Yes, sir. Are you supervisor? Yes, sir. My okay. name is Sergeant Garza. Sergeant Garza? Okay. How are you doing today? Good. I can barely hear you. Oh, how are you doing today? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. What is it that you guys are detaining me for? What sir, reasonable... I can't, I can't hear What you. reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime are you guys detaining me and my family for right now? Well, I don't know. You said you wanted to speak to me. So yes, because to I'm being detained. If I'm being detained, then Brown versus Texas says that you have to have a reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime in order to identify and detain someone. He has not told me what he's detaining us about. Right now, we're being held at ransom and gunpoint. I'm under duress. You guys, well, you guys have guns. I mean, no is it? Well, we have guns. Look at look at how many people you bought here for for this for so this. My is you're being stopped for a traffic violation on a public roadway. On a public roadway? Yes, sir. Those are public roadways. Okay, so they're not private. They don't belong to you. They belong to the state of Texas, which is a privilege. Which is which 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 belong which is given from the people to the state. Mm -hmm. So the people actually own the roads. Okay. So exactly, I'm one of the people. I'm traveling. I'm with all my. I'm I'm well within my rights. This is private property. I'm not commercially right now. I'm not doing anything commercial. The state says if you're going to drive on that roadway, you have to have a driver's license. So is that so that obligates me because the state says that I'm obligated to have that then? Yes, sir. Me. The driver, the operator of this vehicle. The traveler, and the, the guest. Driver or the operator. Of okay, vehicle. so it, but it doesn't obligate a traveler then. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. You're not free to leave, sir. I'm not. I'm being detained. Yes, sir. For what? For what? Re, for what reasonable suspicion of a crime? Well, you got your supervisor, but uh, it's not looking good for you at this point because, well, he's not exactly on your side because I'm sure he's seen this soft hard argument before. So, yeah. Five minutes later. Sir, I want to give you one final opportunity to identify yourself to us. Okay. Are you willing to I, do I, I did. I gave I gave him my name. I okay, did. I your name and your date of birth. I need your address. I need all the information for the traffic stop so we can issue your citations. That registration does not come back to this car. Okay. So this car is going to come. It's going to become my property here in a second. But it's private property. It's not registered to anyone. It's not registered in any place. Well, I'm. Th you then you guys would be. That would be theft, theft, though. If you want to step out and talk to me, you're more than welcome to. If not, we're going to do things complicated way. Up to you. Well, then, I mean, then we'll be filing t under Title 18, two for Section 241, 242. Oh, the color of law argument. You know, uh, you really should try something else because that's about civil rights. That's not about traffic laws, and it never works in traffic court. So, uh, yeah, please try again, this time with a much better argument. Though I haven't heard a good argument out of you soft hearts in, well, ever. With my job in this traffic stop. I'm just, but, but how does your job obligate me in some way? That registration does not come back to this Okay, car. so does that mean that this car is something wrong? Does that, does that mean there's a crime being committed right now? Are you you guys are, are we I'm saying, about when, you guys, when you guys are okay. using your lights, you, when you use your lights, it's supposed to be an emergency. Oh, can you please provide the citation for that? Because I really want to know because I have looked for that over and over again and all I can find, especially in Texas, is this statute right here. And that pretty much grants them the uh, right to uh, use their lights whenever they're needed. Because after all, they are law enforcement vehicles and I'm sure that uh, somebody along the lines, like a judge or something like that, would tell them that it's not legal to uh, use their lights. I mean, come on now, give me a freaking break, dude. So it's against the law if they have to use the bathroom and they have nothing to do with this at all. It's They're just me. To go use the you, are they welcome to leave? Are they being detained as well? Are you detaining my family? They're not even involved. Well, thank it's you, baby. Car. Go ahead. If you want to, if, if you want to, can you please step back so she's able to get out, please? Please. Just wait till she can wait till she gets back. Just please. I mean, I'm I'm asking. Is it is, is it against the law? We we haven't we haven't done anything law, unlawful, I'm not sir. I'm gonna keep playing this game with you. What game? You're either gonna obey what I ask you to do, 
Okay, you've been stopped for a traffic violation on a public roadway. Right, but the people own the road. Okay, I'm done. So the people don't own the road, sir? No. Well, they said you can go, baby. I just want to get my kids out here. Well, go ahead. They said you can go. No. Go, okay. baby, if you need to go. So they, so they are free to go, though, sir. Your wife and your child, yes, sir. Okay, they can go. Yes, we'll, we'll go ahead and go. I've already answered that several times. Thank you. I don't know why I'm being detained. I haven't committed right, any crime. Sir. There's, there's no habeas corpus. No corpus delecti here. What do you guys operate under? What authority are you? Won't answer any questions because you know I'm right. You guys are unlawfully detaining me. I've done nothing wrong. When you guys use your flashlight, you're declaring an emergency. That's against the law. You're not supposed to be doing that. There's no emergency. There's no crime here. No corpus delecti. No proof that that law applies to me. You guys are just operating right now. You're right outside of your jurisdiction. Way outside of your jurisdiction. You guys will be still in my car and I, I want all your badge numbers. We'll go, we'll go to civil court. Look up subsection 241, 242, title 18 of the United States Code, deprivation of rights while under the color of law. Look up section 241, 242. You guys are violating that right now. I haven't done anything wrong. Hold on, baby. Close the door, please. Close the door. Close the door? Yeah, please. I mean, you said you were going to let them out. Why do you guys keep coming back? Because I'm going to explain to you are what you, happened next. Are you violating Section 241, 242? The attorney's office has accepted charges against you for interfering with our public duty. For me? You for can, what? You can step out on your own. Or for what, though? Our way in and have you okay, listen to this. But they are welcome to leave anytime they wish. Okay. Well, can you back up at least to let them leave then? Sure. Please? Can you please back up at least to let them leave, please? Yeah. She's going to back up. They're leaving out of that side. Why would you do this to me and my family? Would you want somebody pulling you over in your family and, and harassing you? You're going to do this the easy way or the company? I'm going to do it the easy way. Under duress, I'll do whatever you want. I need you to step out, please. So, am I, so you're going to accept me under duress? I need you to step out, please. Is, it, is, are you, is that I'm obligated to step out? Yes, sir. I am. I'm asking you to step out. But that means that I'm obligated? Does that mean that I'm obligated, sir? Please step out of the vehicle. Please Go ahead and go. Please go. Please let them out. Please let them out, and I'll do whatever I'll do whatever you have to do. They can step out. Ain't nobody please. gonna stop them from stepping out. Okay, please, please back up. Please, thank you. Miss Nate. Yeah, no. Go ahead. Hey, all right, I need to get me out. Let me out of here. You want the car to be out? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, wait. She can grab it from that side. Cause you said you're gonna force. You said you're gonna force me. Why would you do that? That's against your job. Why would you guys do this to me? I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't have anything unlawful in here. You got what you guys are doing is un, is just unreal. For somebody exercising a constitutional right, aren't you guys have an oath to the Constitution? Do you have one to the Constitution? Can you please step back a little, please? I'm not gonna run. Okay. Step I'm, out. I'm I'm not gonna do anything harmful to any of you okay, guys, please. Step out. Okay. Why won't you answer any more of my questions? Why are you gonna why are you gonna do this to me? Until you comply with me, we're done talking. Step out. I'm obligated to then. So I'm obligated to, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Under what color of law? Like you're not you're not even explaining the code. You don't even know that it applies to me or not yet. I don't I'm not I'm only visiting here. Step out. Okay. Please just step back and I will step out. Please, please. If you please step back, I will step out. <laughs> okay, if you step back, I will please, please, if you please step back, I will step. step right over here and you can walk right over to them. Okay. You guys aren't going to beat the shit out of me, no are you? I'm not going to do nothing to you. Please. Step out. Okay. If you guys are forcing me to, I'll get out. Step out. Step right over to them. Comply with what they ask you to do. If I'm being forced to, no, under duress. But I'm being forced. I'm being forced. I don't have any guns. I don't have anything that's illegal. I don't have anything. I've done nothing wrong. I promise you. There's no, there's no reason for this. I've done nothing. I've done nothing. You guys, you, you guys are, you guys are acting right now outside the color. Okay. Here, set it right here, here. bro. You can set it right here. Huh? I don't even let you keep recording. Set it right here so you can keep recording. I have no problem with you doing that. Not a one. Is that good? Right there?
you want to look them up? Well, that's where the video ends, folks. As you can see, the handcuffs came out, and they already said they were going to tow the vehicle. So, yeah. Dude, get some better arguments, because none of those arguments have ever worked in court. And do yourself a favor. At least try to study up on the freaking laws and understand where you, well, pretty much fucked up. So... Yeah, you're going to end up paying more in court costs than you would have ever paid in insurance or anything else like that, dude. So, grow up! At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?